What's going on guys, Jacob Ardotti here, back for another vlog, and today we're working on the Mustang, but this one's pretty big, a lot of you guys have been waiting on this. We're doing the MGW today. As you can see, sun is setting, but that's not gonna stop me. I got the Mustang up on all four jack stands. I even have an extra precaution of my mom's stock wheels under there. Some wood blocks just in case. Let me show you guys what we're installing today. I'm pretty stoked. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the MGW race spec for the MT82. You can read it right there if it focuses. Right there, MT82 race spec, made in the USA, MGW. Comes with all of the sound deadening, red Loctite, blue Loctite, and also some Dynamatic Stream. And that right there is what's really gonna improve what we have going on right now. So let me hop in the car and show you what we have. So that's third gear, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of wiggle in gear. And I'm not going crazy on it or anything, but yeah, you can see it kind of bounces and wiggles whenever you put it in neutral. Hopefully all that goes away whenever we install the MGW. This is a pretty heavy install. I would highly suggest having a buddy. No one's really around right now and maybe they'll come through later, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I probably won't show every single step. MGW has a 20 minute long video that shows you every single step. I'll link that down below. It's super useful and I'm just gonna use that to basically do this whole thing. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off my center console and begin the process. Swapping over to the GoPro just because it's a little bit easier to like move around and stuff, but I wonder if this this is why I had more transmission noise than normal. This thing is all screwed up. Yeah, that's definitely not how it's supposed to be. I mean, you can see whenever I start to go for it and push on it, it flexes all over the place. And look at this wimpy reverse lockout. Look at how much movement there is. Yeah, definitely gonna be improving this. So this is what people switch out for the Barton two post bracket with the Blowfish Racing or whatever it is. But we're skipping all that. We're going straight to MGW, do it right once, do it right the first time and you never have to worry about it. So that's what I'm doing. Still working away here, just uh, doing a couple bolts. Next we'll lower down the transmission a little bit, which is a just standard thing you have to do. And we'll keep cooking, but it's going pretty smooth so far. Knock on wood. That's not really wood, so. There we go. So I've got everything from down below already unbuttoned. Now it's really simple. We're coming in from the top and it's uh, just this last little bolt right here so we can remove the stock shifter, as you can see. It's really, really simple. Everything comes off really easily. It's uh, nothing really to be scared of. I thought this was gonna take like a full day and I'm just cooking right through it. It's just me in my garage. And I do it at night because it's uh, a little bit cooler, but we're cooking. I'm kind of liking filming just on the GoPro because it's so small and lightweight, but this is all the stock parts right here. This is the stock shifter. Big load of crap, just nice and floppy. This is the lower linkage. This is really what we're replacing all right here. So this is why you have a lot of deflection, you have a lot of crap because this is really, really terrible. I mean, that is a bunch of weak parts. You can see the bushing there. This bushing here is all nice and squishy, like foam. It's, it's pretty bad. So we're going ahead, getting started on the MGW, just following along in the video. Like I said, it's all on YouTube. I'm already almost halfway down, so we're getting going and we're gonna do the blue Loctite, make sure this is all done properly. Check this out, you guys. This one's the stock support linkage. As you can see, it's just this thin bar. This is the new MGW one. They can even lift the transmission from the support bracket, which is pretty freaking wild, but let me give you guys a quick tip underneath the car. So here's the ground just to orient you and you look straight up. There's a bolt way up here. Hopefully you guys can see my glove. Just know whenever you're using the ratchet that this one feels like it goes on forever because you have such a limited range right here in the transmission tunnel. However, just keep going. It will get tight. And uh, just know I had to double check and make sure I was going the right way. And uh, yeah, it goes on pretty easily and we're gonna continue on. Everything's going super smoothly with this video that MGW provides. So we're making huge progress here. Now we have the shifter body on the upper side, got the lower bracket and support rod and everything like that, the linkage is in there. Now what we're gonna do is put on the bolts on the bottom, connect it up, and uh, we should be moving along nice and smoothly. So as I'm doing this, because I do have the race spec that's compact, I do wanna make note of this. Put on the boot before you put this in and connect the linkage arms and the control bracket arms, I guess, the ones that go on the side of the transmission. If you're watching the tutorial, you'll know what I'm talking about, but put this on before, after you have verified that your reverse lockout and all of your one to two shifts are working, you're good to go for that. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead, link this back inside the transmission, connect it up to that bolt there, these two bolts there, and uh, we'll start wrapping her up because we're getting close, boys. So everything is pretty well buttoned up now. Uh, I just have the transmission raised up, so, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm looking like underneath the car. So now we're under the car, I have the brace back in. You can see the MGW barely up there with a little bit of gold showing. Everything is nice and solid. All those little strut mounts and stuff like that. 
good to go. So I can't wait. I've kind of cheated and already felt what it's gonna feel like inside, but we're gonna have to just go ahead, finish her up, start her up, and take her for a test drive. So now I have the car down. As you can see, it's on. This thing, I just put it in reverse. It requires a lot more force, which I like. Like I said, the man's car feeling is coming back with that shift knob and the shifter. I don't know how great of a review I'm gonna give right now. I'm gonna have some uh, driving miles on it. Then I'll give you guys my thoughts, probably the next day or something like that, whenever it's a little bit nicer out. And by nicer, I just mean so that way you guys could actually see me. My review for the MGW is that I freaking love it. There are more vibrations on the freeway and stuff, but nothing that's like rattling your arm like into pieces. Like I can feel it right now. I but it's nothing that's gonna like rattle your arm off or anything like that I mean, it's just you can feel the engine more in the transmission now as far as noise goes I'm pretty sure it didn't add any extra noise to my car I mean it sounds the exact same as what it did before as far as Christmas. This is super crisp I know exactly what gear I'm going into there's zero Guessing is that third or is that fifth it it tells you would I recommend you guys get an MGW? Yes, it completely changes how you drive because just from like the five minutes that I just took a trip on, I could tell that I knew exactly which gear I was in. There was a lot less slop in play. Like, look at this. Just in gear. That's all. Nothing, really. As you guys can see, it's 11.30 at night and I have not eaten. I've been in the garage since seven. So uh, a little bit over four hours to do the install. Again, I was filming and stuff too. So take that for whatever you want, but I'm gonna grab some food and then I'll meet you guys back at my house. Got the goods. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't super informative, but MGW already has a really good install video. And I kind of gave you guys one of my tips, which is to put on the boot before you lock in the little remote arms or whatever for the transmission mount. I'll be giving my thoughts on the MGW and what I think of it in future videos because I just got to kind of learn a little bit, use it every day and kind of get used to it. And I want to give you guys my genuine thoughts after having the product, not just my initial reaction. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here. So if you guys enjoyed, please comment, like, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time.